Hello, my name is Bill McKee. You know, like a lot of Americans, I used to think that Israel and Palestine had been fighting each other for so long that there was no way to tell anymore who was right, who was wrong, and who started what. But come to find out, that's not true. After I looked into it, I learned one simple fact that explains just about everything, that ties it all together. It's one fact that explains why the problem all started, why it has continued all this time. It puts all of that discussion about security and self-defense into its proper perspective, and it even clarifies what the solution to this problem is gonna have to involve. That one fact is this, Israel has been stealing land from Palestine. That's it. Israel has been stealing land from Palestine. It's easy to prove and it can't be denied. Here, look at these maps. Here's a map of Israel and Palestine in 1967. Israel is all this land in yellow, and Palestine is this land in green. Now look at that same map today, 2014. Israel now controls all of this land, and Palestine has been reduced to a bunch of little islands. So where did Israel get all this extra land? Did the United Nations give it to them? No. Did the Palestinians give it to them? No. Did they buy it? Did they pay the Palestinians who owned that land for it? No. They just took it. Bit by bit, year after year, the Israeli army has marched into Palestine, grabbed up another bunch of land, moved all the Palestinians off, and moved a whole lot of Israelis in there to live. They don't buy the land or pay for it. They just take it by force of arms. To me, that's called stealing because I can't think of another nice way to say it. Now, if you find that hard to believe, consider this. Even the United States says so. Just like most every country in the world, the United States says that Israel has no right to all that land that it's taken. But Israel seems to think that if you can steal some land and you can get away with it for long enough, that land will become yours. Well, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't matter how long the Israeli army sits on that land, it will never belong to Israel. So the next time somebody tries to tell you that the conflict between Israel and Palestine is very complex, just remind them of one thing. Israel has been stealing land from Palestine. If you start the discussion from there, all the rest of it becomes a lot more clear. How did the problem start? It began when Israel started stealing land from Palestine. Why has the violence continued all these years? Because Israel has never stopped stealing land from Palestine. As recently as September of this year, Israel grabbed another 1,000 acres of Palestine that they're now calling their own. Doesn't Israel have a right of self-defense? Of course they do. But guarding land that you've stolen is not self-defense. Think of it this way. Whatever it takes to drive the burglar out of your house does not give the burglar the right to shoot back at you. Now the Palestinians have a right to defend their land when the Israeli army shows up to take it and to try to recover the land that's been stolen from them. Why don't the peace negotiations ever resolve all of this? Well, to my thinking, it's because there's something that Israel wants more than peace. Israel wants land, and they're willing to sacrifice the peace in order to get it. So whenever the conversation turns to Israel and Palestine, just remember, Israel has been stealing land from Palestine. It's easy to prove, and it can't be denied. Thank you.